So if you're a beginner that's looking to start an affiliate marketing business, you may want to stick around for this entire video because I'm going to be going through the top five or six most common questions that I get asked on a regular basis and I'm going to be answering them in the best of my ability. And if you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before and you're thinking, who's this guy on my screen and why should I listen to him? Well, welcome. My name is Sam. And over the years, I've managed to build various different affiliate marketing businesses that enable me to travel the world to various different amazing locations while still being able to generate a passive source of income from these different businesses even when I'm on holiday. So I'm sure I'm definitely gonna be able to point you in the right direction. So jumping straight into one of the first common questions that I get asked all the time, which is Sam, what exactly is an affiliate marketing business? So first what I'm gonna do is break it down. So if we define what affiliate marketing is first, which is basically where you're going to sign up for an affiliate program. And once you get accepted, you're gonna be given a unique link. And when you give that link to someone and they click onto it and buy that product or service, you're gonna be able to earn a commission. So if we now look at the word business, this is basically an asset that you're going to put your time, energy and money into for you to build up the value of it. So if we combine the words affiliate marketing business together, essentially you're going to build up an asset that you're going to be able to generate affiliate commissions from. And one of the best analogies that I can give you is a house. If you look at someone that buys a house with the intentions of renting it out, not only is that person going to make money from the rent income that they're going to make every single month from the tenant, but they're also going to make money from the fact that the house is going to increase in value. And that's one of the reasons why I prefer to build affiliate marketing businesses, because I know that at the end of the day, I'm gonna be able to sell the business, but I'm also gonna be able to generate affiliate commissions along the way. But moving on to one of the next common questions that I get from you guys on a regular basis, which is, but Sam, how are exactly am I going to build an affiliate marketing business? So in my opinion, I would say that the three best ways that you can build one is by utilizing the power of YouTube channels, blog websites, and email newsletters. Reason being is because first and foremost, with YouTube channels and blog websites, you're going to focus on targeting search terms. People go onto Google and YouTube, they type in a specific search term, and you're gonna be able to position your traffic source, which is your YouTube channel and your website in front of the right person. And the reason why building up an email newsletter is perfect when it comes to starting an affiliate marketing business is because you're gonna be able to have direct communication with the person that signed up to your email list, which means that of course, you're gonna be able to provide as much free value to that person that you want whenever you want, but you're also gonna be able to recommend various different products and services to that person whenever you want anytime. But the main benefit to all of these three different methods is that you're going to be able to sell them in the future if you wanted to as well. There's been so many people out there that sold a YouTube channel, blog websites, email newsletters, and they've been able to make a lot of money. Some people have sold their traffic sources for over a million dollars. So that's the reason why I always recommend beginners that are looking to start affiliate marketing to also focus on nurturing and building up your traffic source and your platform. Because if you're able to build up a digital asset, as I've already said in the beginning, you're going to have the opportunity to sell it to someone in the future and get a large lump sum of money at one time. But moving on to one of the next common questions that I get asked all the time, which is, but Sam, why exactly would someone click onto my YouTube video, my blog website, my emails and buy a product that I've recommended? Why wouldn't they just buy it from someone else? And this is a question that I always used to ask myself as well. I never really understood why anyone would trust my opinion when it came to me recommending a particular product or service. And over the years of me being somewhat successful with affiliate marketing, I've now realized that it's very important that from day one, you do various different things so that you can increase your chances of someone clicking on your link, bringing out their credit card and buying whatever you've recommended. The first thing that you wanna do is focus on one specific category. If you build all of your different traffic sources around one particular category, you're gonna be able to specialize in that and you're gonna understand the pain points of the people that are interested in the information that you're going to provide. Not only that, you're also gonna look like an expert for that particular category, which means that your recommendations are gonna hold more weight than someone else. That's the reason why whenever I build any traffic source, YouTube channels, websites, I always center it around a specific category. And this is done through branding, this is done through the content that I'm gonna be putting out on that traffic source and make sure that it's centered around one particular niche because this is gonna help me when it comes to 
being able to recommend products and services and increasing my chances of being able to make sales. And to give you an example of what I'm talking about, if I just jump onto Google and I search for one of my websites and I'm gonna type in a search term which is success with business and I'm gonna click on enter. And as you guys can see over here, my website is one of the first ones that come up in the results, which means that when someone does go onto Google and they want to have success with their business and they might type in the search term, they're gonna be able to see my website. And then from here, they're gonna be able to now click into it. And once they're on my website, they're gonna scroll through, they're gonna see all of the different things that I'm recommending, all of the different articles that I'm writing. But the main point that I'm trying to make is that because I've centered this website around helping people that want to have success with the online business for them to be able to make money online, when it now comes time for me to recommend anything that I believe is gonna be beneficial for that person, I'm gonna be able to make affiliate commissions a lot more easier. If my website was a lot more general and it wasn't really focused on a specific category it's going to be a lot more difficult so to take it back to the initial question which is why would anyone click on your link as long as you've made sure to do everything to brand yourself as an expert of course they're going to click on your link because they're going to trust what you have to say all right so swiftly moving on to one of the next common questions that i get asked all the time about starting an affiliate marketing business which is sam how much can i expect to make in the first month of me starting and to be very honest with you this is going to be a difficult question for me to answer because there's so many different moving parts and there's so much that goes into it like for example one of the first things that you need to bear in mind is the category or the niche that you decide to pick some pay a lot more than others if you pick a low pay niche then it may take a longer time for you to make your first five thousand dollars however if you go down the route of picking a more higher paying niche then of course you're going to be able to make a lot more money a lot sooner there's other factors to consider as well like for example how consistent are you when it comes to creating content on all of your different traffic sources if you're publishing an article on your website let's say once a month then of course you're not going to be able to make as much money as someone that's publishing articles let's say every day and i'm not saying that you need to be consistent and do things every single day of course that might be better for you but you just need to make sure that you're a lot more consistent than once a month or even once a week if there's one thing that i've learned about building all of these different traffic sources is that the more consistent that you are the higher chances you're going to have when it comes to being able to generate a passive source of income with your affiliate marketing business there's also some other things that you need to consider as well when it comes to being able to make as much money as soon as possible like for example what type of products are you going to be promoting so even if you do pick a high paying category within that category there's going to be some products that pay you a lot less and there's going to be others that pay you a lot more and to give you an example of what i'm talking about if i just jump onto impact.com which is one of the affiliate networks or marketplaces that i tend to use and i search for a high paying category which is email softwares but i'm just going to type in email just like that as you can see there's so many different types of email related products that we can start promoting but the interesting thing is that a lot of them have varying amounts of how much they're going to pay you in terms of commissions like for example there's this one over here that's going to pay a hundred and five dollars every single time that you're able to successfully get someone to sign up to use this software however there's this one over here that's going to pay around seventy dollars if you sign up to this one and you get someone to buy it and there's other ones that's going to pay you maybe around three dollars every single month so the point that i'm trying to make is that depending on what category company or software that you decide to promote it's going to have a direct correlation with how much money you're going to be able to make so i'm not really able to give you a direct answer when it comes to how much are you going to be able to make in your first month but the one thing that i do want to say is that when it comes to building an affiliate marketing business or any online business for that matter you just need to make sure that you're not focusing on making money in the quickest way possible reason being is because when it comes to building a long-term digital asset that you're going to be able to eventually sell you need to make sure that you focus on the foundations first and foremost i would say that the beginners that solely focus on trying to make money as soon as possible are the ones that end up giving up within the first couple months and for you to be successful with any online business that's worth doing you need to make sure that you're focused on building an actual business a business that's going to be able to pay you over the long term rather than you trying to make money in the first couple days and this now brings me on to one of the Final questions that I get asked almost every other day, which is, Sam, is an affiliate marketing business the best online business to start right now? And again, this is a very difficult question for me to answer because it all depends on what type of business you wanna have over the next year, over the next two years, because online businesses, 
for you to be successful with them, it all depends on your personality, it all depends on your skill set, it all depends on what you want for your own personal situation. But what I can do is give you the different pros and different cons that go into an affiliate marketing business for you to be able to see if it's something that you do want to continue running over the next year, two years, three years. So right here in front of me, I've got three different pros and three different cons that I'm going to go through very quickly just to give you an insight of the run-ins of an affiliate marketing business so that you can make your mind up in the best way possible. So starting off with the pros and the first one, which is that you're going to have a lot of flexibility. Now, when I say flexibility, what I mean by this is that really and truly, you're going to be able to run your affiliate marketing business anywhere around the world. Like right now, I'm based in the UK, but if I wanted to pick up my laptop and travel to Dubai, I'm going to be able to do that and continue running my affiliate marketing business from there. All you really need is a laptop and an internet connection. Once you've built up all of your different traffic sources, you're going to be able to run it from anywhere around the world, which is obviously really, really good. The next pro is that there is a really high potential for you to earn a passive source of income. Now, when I say passive source of income, what I mean is that you're not going to have to directly work for the money that you're going to be making on a day to day basis because you would have put in all of the work months before. I've got various different articles on various different websites and various different YouTube videos that are continuously earning me a passive source of income, even though I made them a year ago, two years ago. So even if I decided to stop running all of my different affiliate marketing businesses right now, I'm still going to be able to generate tens of thousands of dollars every single month. The third pro is that there's low business startup costs and even just general costs when it comes to running it on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't really have to pay for any sort of products, any sort of manufacturing, any sort of staff. You're going to be able to run it on a minimal amount of money. I would say that that's probably one of the best things about an affiliate marketing business is that the potential to make a lot of profit is also really, really high as well. The only things that you really need to pay for is a couple freelancers here and there and maybe a couple softwares to help you automate things. But as I already said, you don't have to pay for any sort of inventory. You don't have to pay for a big office for you to run your business. However, there are some cons that you need to be aware of. And I'm going to start off with the first one, which is that you don't have any real control over the commissions that you're making. And to give you a real life example of what I'm talking about, there's a company that I'm promoting right now. And by the way, I'm probably promoting between 40 to 60 different companies as we speak. But there was one particular company that I was promoting where I was earning $10,000 every single month consistently. However, recently they've reduced the commission percentage that they pay out to all of their affiliate marketers. So now my commission has dropped to around $5,000, $4,000, which is obviously still good, but I don't really have any control over how much money I'm going to be able to make with all of these different companies that I'm promoting. It's not like I can just pick up the phone, call them and say, hey, put my commissions back to what it was last month because they're going to tell me no. So that's definitely one of the biggest cons in my opinion when it comes to doing this online business. One of the next cons is that it may take time for you to build up traffic. This is where a lot of people end up bouncing around to different online businesses because they may be putting a month's worth of work to build up a steady stream of traffic going to their affiliate links. But because it doesn't work in the first couple weeks, the first month, first two months, they end up completely giving up. So in my opinion, I wouldn't really say that this is a con because it does get rid of a lot of competition. A lot of people are not able to stick it out, which means that there's gonna be a lot more opportunity for people like me that have patience. But if you are someone that is looking to make quick cash today, then this may not be the business for you. I would say that an affiliate marketing business is for people that are serious minded, ready to put in the work necessary to build up a digital asset, ready to put in the work necessary for them to get to whatever goal they're trying to get to. If you don't have patience, you don't have discipline and you're not consistent, then you're not gonna be able to succeed with any online business in my opinion. And moving on to one of the third and final cons that I'm gonna talk about, which is that it can be confusing for a beginner when it comes to what step to take first. So taking it back to when I I first started this is what confused me I didn't really understand what I needed to do how I needed to do it what was the best step for me to take but of course over the years I've now figured it out so if I decided to start a brand new affiliate marketing business within a brand new niche I'm going to be able to do it within a few weeks but that's the reason why I always recommend beginners to spend a lot of time at the very beginning to research all the things that they should focus on and also study all of the obstacles that they might face from someone that's actually done it. Another common mistake that so many people make is that they're researching how to start any online business from people that haven't actually done it. So if you want to watch a completely free webinar where I break down my story of exactly how I was able to go from 
zero dollars in revenue to over one hundred thousand dollars in profit everything that i've learned on my journey from the beginning up until now things that i didn't really know at the start then you can watch that completely free webinar by clicking the first link in the description down below and if you also want to watch another youtube video that i made recently where i break down how you're going to be able to start earning paypal money in your sleep things i didn't really talk about in today's video then you're going to be able to watch that by clicking the link right there make sure you check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and i'm sure that it's going to help you out too all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace